is uh, mijn beurt om uh, u wat uh, voor te present leggen. Present you some information. Uh, and, um, and I might say that um, I'm uh, a big promoter to introduce this uh, piece of information at the end of those two days. Because I think that this ILD picture from zero to 21 of age is very important and uh, very valuable. But you might very well consider that very often you could pose the question and what comes next after one has really reached the age of 21. Because if you have really If you have absorbed the information of those two days, then you might very well reach the uh, conclusion, maybe 80 or 90 percent of yours. I th you could say it's an ec excellent story, but if I'm looking back, then I could conclude that um, I didn't get, have that information and I didn't, haven't offered that kind of education, so what should I do next? And we all have expect, uh, respect for our parents, but, but if I'm looking uh, back, they could have done uh, another, a better job on some elements, some things, things they did very well. But when I was 21, uh, I posed uh, the question to myself, what, uh, what uh, should I or should I go from here? And uh, they started with me already from uh, the age of 16. I did my own thing, I had my own ideas, but it's a very important thought to realize from yourself that if you're 21 or more mature, then you enter in a very important phase. We have explained to you that uh, from zero to 21 is a kind of a recapitulation, but in, 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 in the large, that's recapitulation, but uh, you all will notice that there is an element of recapitulation, but on the other hand, uh, as an add-on, there's an element of uh, new of learning new issues and understanding new issues and that has been going on parallel for quite some time. No one of us was uh, 100% harmoniously developed, so the recap is not a 100% harmonic uh, thing. So some, uh, some holes and some missing elements uh, are there, so the, the, the closer you get to the age of 21, it's not only education of uh, getting out and bring to the outside uh, of what's already there, but there are also new elements which should be learned. But the most uh, serious part of our incarnation starts, as a matter of fact, at the uh, at maturity. But then you have the challenge. We have we have arrived at the point where we were at the last uh, incarnation, and now you have the challenge to see what uh, should we do next. And there are some very important elements involved, because the continuation is uh, decided uh, by your vision on life. Uh, what do you think? Uh, is the dominant factor uh, materialism, uh, which has been, could have been the, the dominating element when you've reached, um, and then you could be part of the culture where you're part of and find your position and um, get your position established? And then you could very well develop a very uh, material vision. And then you could say life is worthwhile. And, uh, and the aim is to position yourself in this world, have a, very, have a, re a reasonable job, a reasonable income. If you uh, want to have, do it at leisure, if you have a nice, uh, comfortable life. And that's uh, a very small, uh, relatively small vision. But the core question is, if you have a vision on life, and reincarnation is part of it, then there is an additional question, what should I indeed do to 
<laughs> to the next phase, my diseasing, and where should I aim, upon, aim for? And from the perspective of reincarnation, what uh, kind of partnership position in the society, how should I fill this, and what kind of um, uh, activity should I do to, uh, to earn a living, and how should I spend my additional time, and then you have some other issues to, uh, to go for. In the workshops, uh, you have already heard about things that are important. All those things are important that uh, cultivates our, uh, our higher parts, our eternal part. If you uh, can practice that view, and we had the discussion uh, with the principal of the Krishnamurti school, when he uh, Sir tried, uh, w when he brought his pupils to the society, he had to conclude that a lot of those uh, pupils, after two or three years, had uh, lost the principles of the school. And uh, we are not uh, quite different from uh, the other other people in the, in the society and trying to uh, get their own position. So you can uh, uh, think about uh, just imagine I have still so many years to go in this incarnation. What shall uh, can I do? What can I give to my children as a kind of, uh, of uh, view? What can I uh, think about the points that I can do this important thing for? The for the coming uh, reincarnations. So, think about are these relations that you build now are already uh, of the character that is uh, what you uh, what you wish to be, and uh, what must I change in the society? What what must I do in uh, in my time outside of my working time? that will fulfill the idea of reincarnation is effect. And everything what I do should in fact be in line with that idea. If you take, take this criterion of reincarnation, then you can try to find a line in your life. All the outer uh, things will not be so many important, but the inner wisdom, the inner views, the relations that you build up with other beings, with other humans, ex especially the more inner relations that you take to other incarnations, and also uh, trying to uh, stimulate each other's wisdom. And when you look in this way, then uh, you will realize that many things uh, are not important, and only a few things are very, very important to uh, to uh, to have their much attention to. So, if you look, and when we talk about education of the reincarnating child, and you think, okay, I'll have to do with young people, perhaps uh, own children, but uh, not needed. How can I help? During the education, uh, during the leaning out of the uh, of the potencies of those children, then perhaps you already discovered that it is in line in uh, with the situation of yourself. And if you already know yourself, are able to educate yourself and to lead out your inner capacities. So you cannot be a good educator when you do not know in yourself how to handle and how to steer that process. In the workshops we already uh, gave some, uh, some good keys in the form of good questions and uh, going to research something together. And sometimes it is even better to have not the answer than having seemingly the answer. But uh, because then at that moment you can show to the children how you can discover uh, truths and uh, talking together from uh, okay, we have found something, is it really giving an answer, is it giving an answer on the long term, etc. And, uh, and in, the, in all these uh, examples we think not only for one incarnation but for more incarnations. That is really long term and that means in fact the spiritual area. Okay, then you see 
dit te houden aan de Mexican uh, Het kan best zijn. En het kan best zijn dat als je een dergelijke kind of visie in de uh, society hebt, dat je collega's jonger en ouder zijn, dat je ze misschien kunt inspireren om te laten zien welke values in je leven belangrijk zijn als een naam. So it's, it's a very well-known fact that Siosof, uh, that Siosof, uh, our approach not only on what they say, but uh, in by the attitude they show in relationship to the things which are happening in society. And they have the uh, this approach of looking at the background of, um, of all kind of developments and look for the durability durability on the spiritual level and by doing so rouse an interest um, and that works better so there are a lot of there are a lot of English nice English terms so make true what you what you uh, live to what you live up to what you preach I have, uh, I have uh, this uh, personal experience. I was rather relatively young and I met a person that I was going to work with for a couple of years, didn't know that at that time, and that person has done nothing else than posing me questions and not giving any answers, but by posing those questions successively brought me into a certain uh, direction and it has been very important for the rest of the choices um, in uh, in my life and uh, afterwards uh, this person uh, didn't never mention theosophy although it and it turned out that his parents uh, were a part of this organization but he said sort it out uh, and make me do my own thing so what I wanted to say is that if you have a certain vision vision on life, which uh, has reincarnation spirituality as a, as, as a key uh, basic elements, then uh, you should be consequent. Uh, and it wouldn't say that you you can't read a nice uh, book or go to a movie or go on a holiday or whatever, do the usual things, but th those are not the decisive things in life. Um, it's you should consider those kind of elements in the larger picture. So there's this question included. You're coming up to this situation, and you you you're using uh, ba you're basing yourself on reincarnation. You know all elements are in deep inside you uh, hidden, and now how are you going to educate yourself? No, having this basic knowledge, and it's a very important one because first it means looking for things, investigating, and and in your investigations. Uh, look very well at the true intrinsic value of uh, things and then you might generate a deeper insight. And it might very well mean that uh, if you, by looking around, uh, you are confronted with uh, lots and lots of uh, elements where incarnation is a part of or is it a background because that's, that's very often the case. But that doesn't mean by definition that those kind of streams offer for you those uh, elements and those information which is for you important. So in your search is what uh, you are looking, how can I be educating myself and how can I find and where can I find elements which may help me in my self-education. That can be cooperation with other people, might be literature which gives the first impulse. It might very well be that you are going to be in contact with certain organizations who who are able to uh, bring forward certain elements. And in all those elements, the very important uh, question uh, uh, is at stake, do they contribute in this uh, development? One of the key elements uh, here is the knowledge which is offered to you from the, from the different structures may not be dogmatic. That's a touchstone. So it's um, so it shouldn't be the case that they, they pinpoint and say, okay, this is the case, it's so-and-so, and, -so, and uh, you should just believe me, believe us as an organization, so this instruction. 
an instruction has his own uh, value and might be uh, very uh, very important uh, to offer, give, give you a very a certain position in society and make you uh, make you make it for you able to earn a living but if you want to make use of your own knowledge and and use and use the element and 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 strip off uh, the elements of instruction then you then you have to answer the uh, the question if you strip off uh, the instruction what is what's there so maybe 50 60 70 um, percent we should realize those are only elements which which we which we accept on the basis of uh, having uh, having heard and there was uh, in an article i wrote something about uh, the, the the gravity of newton uh, but but why who has ever looked into why does it uh, fall to worse and which facts need to be in place to make it uh, fall because if uh, a feather and a piece of a lead, so according to uh, Newton, they should uh, reach the Earth at exactly the same time if they start from the same height. But if you if they if they're if you do this on the out in the open and uh, there's strong wind, then the lead is uh, touching ground much uh, faster. So is Newton wrong? No, so we, we, we take a lot of things uh, for granted because uh, many people say that he is right. But what you really should do is that you do your own investigation to find out for yourself, is this true or is this not true? And uh, how can I find the truth of this in my, uh, in my deep inner self? Well, when I should do that uh, with everything in my uh, practical life, then it is a daily task. But you should not hesitate to do it. So it is not really bad to accept things at forehand, but realize then that you did that, that you only accepted them. And when you realize it, then you always have later on the possibility to come back to it and think and, and, uh, and uh, question, uh, can I also experience it as a truth? That is a really adventurous journey which you can build up in your life. And uh, that may start uh, when you are adult. It doesn't matter at what age exactly. But during that first age, 21st, 22nd year, you get uh, a lot of things from the society in the in this uh, uh, like in it from uh, that's the way you should accept it because that works best <coughs> but what i wish to say is that that attitude of a puber of a puberty we should in fact uh, continue uh, that attitude and not in the sense of that you are against everything but by each time asking yourself the question why should i do this and on what basis should i do it is it true or is it only accepted from an authority so each bank which uh, uh, reckons your uh, hypothetics, hypothetic, then uh, he will uh, try to show it in that way that uh, is uh, advantage for the bank, but you should compare different ones. So when you do it this way, you see that your own life is one complete challenge of self-education. Oh, well, I also experienced situations where colleagues of my, which were in a very uh, adventurous uh, surroundings and work, very interesting scientific work, and yet when they were 40 years, 45 years, oh well, there are only so, so many years to do and then uh, I have my pension, so why should uh, I uh, make some problems and uh, I'll wait my time. And, uh, well, those people have already uh, spiritually finished their life. But that is not a challenge. The challenge is, in principle, that we should try to be active spiritually until the, our last day of life and grow and grow. So, what you have heard the last two days about the reincarnating child and the education of the child, you can completely also apply to your own life. 
He also the period from your 21st till your last day of this incarnation, there are cyclic periods where you have the choice, what sh shall I do the next cycle? And uh, on a certain uh, uh, age we uh, try uh, to, to find something new and perhaps we, uh, we buy a new motor, and, uh, but we can also t take something deeper and more fulfilling. So when you look to your life, you see that a spiritual uh, source or spiritual teacher, you should try to find someone who is inspiring you, uh, which makes your self-education uh, also possible in your, uh, in your life. So, if it is, uh, goes as it is, uh, went with uh, us, with my partner, with me, you can see that the rest of your life is very intensively busy uh, if, uh, of applying universality and uh, which also uh, building up relations which will surely come back in, f in the next uh, incarnation. It is very joyful and very stimulating. So this uh, this whole spiritual part and uh, what I call also the spiritual teacher, be be aware I don't mean a physical spiritual uh, teacher but just uh, the, the system of education is much more important than what your parents have done for you that has been the recapitulation period they have assisted you there in a certain moment you are what you were and then the responsibilities for 100% in your hands and then you have to fill this out so in principle the question is so what can I find uh, and what uh, can I find in life and what might Theosophia offer there? I, I'm not mentioning a certain organization, but I, what I'm, I'm using the most spiritual term, the wisdom of the gods has uh, limitless uh, information to uh, to offer but it's something which doesn't come out of his own so we're not uh, we are not having any dogmas we don't put any rules there it's your job to take on the information and you should try it out in daily life so not believing but uh, in, 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 in the best case, you, if you find certain elements and the doctrines which you think uh, might have a uh, certain value and are truths, but you ha also should, uh, ha should, should realize that there is a challenge that you should live them in uh, daily life. And what if, if you have experienced it in your daily life, then you're much more motived than when there are only elements that we, which has been uh, put on you, uh, put on you, or uh, which uh, which you have we have been told. So I offer you the the very interesting uh, possibilities in our program. Program, but the core thought in uh, my presentation is when you are grown up, then the main challenge starts. So bringing up children is a main responsibility. But from let's say 21 till uh, 99. There is a, uh, a very interesting uh, challenge um, to, uh, to, to, to educate yourself and uh, you m will meet all kinds of uh, spiritual children in a certain sense. So you will meet uh, other persons, uh, colleagues uh, from uh, maybe you've met in for before another incarnations and on the other hand you might very well be a child yourself in relationship to other colleagues who are a little bit uh, further on their way uh, in this way of self-education and there you should uh, find your balance and be very active and if you if this is your path then then you find uh, in the theosophia a very interesting and prosperous uh, and life that will be, uh, but will be very nice to buy challenging things and get experiences. And I'm not going to say that you won't experience any problems, but at the end, it's but the end result is an increased insight and more experience um, and being a little bit wiser. 
so that we have a better understanding of nature and all its processes in, uh, in nature. And then life is much more easy to understand and to steer. This is basically what I wanted uh, to, to share with you on the basis of education, but then seen from the uh, phase of education to the final moment. And now we have a kind of... Um, of sort of bullet points uh, which we will discuss together in a forum and we can address um, these propositions uh, and we could uh, exchange thoughts on these propositions. <laughs>